So first we're going to make a magic circle and to do that you put the end of the yarn in front of your two fingers like so and then wrap it around like this. So the part of the yarn that's attached to the rest of the ball is on top of the yarn end and then we're going to take our hook, insert it into the loop, grab the yarn, and then pull the yarn through the loop. And then now we sort of have like our magic circle. Then now just chain two, and we're going to make 15 double crochets in this magic circle. So, double crochet, yarn over hook, insert it into our magic circle. So make sure that the two pieces of yarn are over the hook like this. And then you're gonna grab the yarn. So now you have like three loops on your hook. So then you're gonna pull yarn through two of those loops. And now you have two loops and then you're gonna yarn over and pull through those two so just make 15 double crochet into this magic circle so now that you have your 15 double crochet you're gonna pull your magic circle super tightly so that there's no hole in the middle and then you're going to attach it to the first stitch here with a slip stitch. So insert a hook into the first stitch, pull the yarn through, and then pull the yarn through like this. You're going to chain two, one, two, and then we're going to do two double crochet in each stitch all around. So in this same stitch here, we're going to do two double crochet. So one, two, and then in the next one, we're going to do two double crochets. So one, two, And then in our next stitch, two double crochets. This way we'll have three double crochets in total all around. Okay, so now that you have your 30 double crochet, we're going to start making our petal. So first we're going to slip stitch into the first double crochet of this round, which is here. So slip stitch is just pulling through both. And now we're going to make a half double crochet into the next stitch. So this is our next stitch. And then to do a half double crochet, we do yarn over, insert hook into the stitch, pull the yarn through, and we shall have three loops. And then we're going to pull the yarn through the three loops like so. Now we're going to do two double crochet in the next stitch. So double crochet, yarn over, insert hook, pull through, pull the yarn through two, and then pull the yarn through two. And then we're going to do another double crochet into the same stitch. Now in the next stitch, we're going to do two triple crochet. So triple crochet, we're going to do yarn over, yarn over so we have three loops before we insert it into the stitch so three loops insert it into the stitch pull the yarn through gonna pull the yarn through two pull the yarn through two and then pull the yarn through two now we're going to make another 
triple crochet in the same stitch. Now we're going to do two double crochet in the next stitch. After that, we're going to do one half double crochet in the next stitch. And now we're going to do a slip stitch into the next stitch. And then you're just going to repeat this five times for five petals in total. So we're going to do this pattern four more times. So it goes half double crochet, two double crochet, and the next stitch. And then two triple crochet into the next stitch. Two double crochet into the next stitch. And then one half double crochet in the next stitch and then slip stitch next stitch once you're finished with your five petals you're going to end it with a slip stitch onto the first slip stitch that we made right here So now for the next part of our petals, we're going to start with a single crochet into the next stitch. Single crochet. And then in the next stitch, we're going to do one half double crochet. Now the next four stitches, we're going to do two double crochet in each one. So we're going to have eight double crochets in total. Now that we have our eight double crochets, we're going to do a half double crochet in the next stitch. And then we're going to do a single crochet. And then a slip stitch in the next one. And then we're just going to repeat this pattern for the rest of the petals. So single crochet. Half double crochet, or eight double crochet, or two double crochet in each stitch for the next four stitches.
and then half the group. And then half double crochet in the next stitch. And then single crochet. Then slip stitch. So now that you're done with all five petals, we can slip stitch at the first slip stitch. And then for the next part, we're just going to be doing single crochet all around our flower, um, except for the parts where there's a slip stitch, which you can tell because it's kind of um, the part between the petals. So we're going to single crochet everywhere and then slip stitch where the slip stitches are. So I think that it's about 12 single crochets on one petal and then after 12 we're going to slip stitch and then do 12 more single crochets and then slip stitch and just do this all around. After you single crochet all the way through we're going to a slip stitch where we first did our slip stitch and then we're going to cut off our yarn and pull it tight and then you're just going to make another one of these so that these two are like two sides of the bag so now we're going to make the side of the bag and to do that, let's just make a slip knot, put it on our hook and we're going to chain 24 times. So we're going to make 24 chains, which is just pulling the yarn through, two, three, four, 18, 19, 20, 21. 22, 23, 24. So make 24 chains. And then we're going to single crochet into the second chain. So this is the first chain, and then this is the second chain. And then we're just going to do one single crochet right there. So now just do one single crochet in each of the chain and we should end up with 23 single crochets so now that you finish one row you're going to chain one turn and just do one single crochet in each stitch and then you're going to have your second row so we want to make about four rows in total. Um, if you want your bag to be wider, you can add more rows. If you want it to be smaller, you can make less rows. So I actually ended up making five rows instead of four because I felt like four rows was 
too small for me um so yeah just adjust the rows amount of rows um based on how wide you want your bag to be and then we're just going to finish off with a slip stitch and then let's cut off our yarn and then pull like this now we're going to do something very similar for the handle instead of doing like 24 chains we're going to do 51 chains so chain 51 times so now i'm done with my 51 chains and what you're going to do is skip the first chain and you're going to single crochet in the second chain here So we're just going to single crochet all the way across so that we have 50 single crochets in total. Now that you've done single crochets all the way across, we're going to chain one and then turn and then you're going to single crochet all the way across this row again so like the side of our bag we're going to make five rows in total so we already have one row done this is the second row so now that we have our five rows done we're going to be connecting the handle together What you're going to do that is you're just going to fold it like this. Just fold it in half. And then we're just going to connect. So connect it onto the other side like this using our hook. So just insert your hook there. And then pull through. And then we're going to insert it into the same stitch as before. And then we're going to make a single crochet like that. So we're going to stitch together using single crochet. So connect the second one. And then just connect it all the way across. So now that you've single crocheted the whole handle together like this, you can just do a slip stitch by pulling it through and then cutting the yarn and then pulling it tight and now we have our handle now we can attach the base of our back together and for that you're just going to take a needle some yarn and just sew it all together so how we're going to attach it is we're going to stitch this part around the circle so you see the circle those are where our 30 double crochet so you're just going to find where you want to start this, so it could be anywhere. Um, kind of make sure that you have your bag how you want it to be. So I think I want my bag to be like this. This be the bottom, and then this is the top. 
and then so this you're gonna wrap it around like the circle like this and then this is gonna be the bottom and then you're gonna attach everything over here and just match up the stitches And then you can kind of like fold it and just sew it together. Just make sure you sew along the circle. Once you're finished sewing it on, you want to find a loop to kind of just tie a knot at. Let's um, go inside. And then we can cut our yarn and sew on the other side. You just want to do the same thing. Make sure that it matches up so the flower petals and everything matches up and just sew it on. So now that you have your bag all attached, you're going to attach the handle to it so depending on how long you want the handle to be i think that it could look really cute with a long handle or like a shorter handle you can just adjust where to sew it on so i think that i want it about here as you see i marked it with a stitch marker and you're just going to kind of adjust it right in the center And kind of just pull your needle through to attach it like so. Just kind of sew it on however you feel comfortable or usually sew things on. Once you're finished attaching everything, you're basically done with your little bag.